this cycle, one of our focuses is zone two work. And it's easy to talk about zone two work and think low intensity. But I think in order to really understand why we are working on zone two stuff this, this cycle, we need to understand zone two just a little bit more. And I want you to take it from somebody that lifts barbells and swings a halligan around for a living. The first time that I recognized I had a need to improve my aerobic capacity, it came as a shock to me because I had been doing CrossFit competitively for years upon years. I had even taken second place in the CrossFit games by that time. I was participating in a adventure race that occurred over the course of nine days. And there were moments where I excelled that were high output, but it was the sustained effort at a low pace that I struggled with the most. I could not continue at a slow pace without taking adequate rest. And that's when I really realized that I had a major gap in my fitness as a whole. And it took me years to realize how to improve that. What was occurring is something called aerobic deficiency syndrome. And basically I trained too often in zone three and above, zone three, four, and five. And you can think of those as those more high intensity efforts where your fuel for creating ATP is primarily through glucose. And because of that, it's considered anaerobic. In other words, unsustainable. What we target using zone two work is your aerobic system. If we wanted to target zone two as precisely as possible, we would need a blood lactate monitor and we would be looking for 1.0 millimole per liter to 1.9 millimole per liter to, as our range that would define zone two. We don't have that. We really don't need that because there's a lot of correlates that can go along with it. But what we're looking for is that point where we can stress your mitochondrial function, lipolysis, and improve our ability to clear lactate from your bloodstream and through your system. That's what zone two does the best. Why are we focusing on zone two for this cycle? Well, we're coming into summer and fall, which is a great time to get out of doors and do a whole bunch of activities. And to feel most confident in that, we want to improve that zone two so that you're capable of a large workload for a long period of time without tapping into zone three, zone four, and zone five. This will give you aerobic capacity and the ability to resist fatigue in the backcountry. The days that we're performing our zone two work, we're primarily targeting lipolysis or fat oxidation and stressing our mitochondria so that we can create more ATP and therefore have more energy. So honestly, this is something that we should do two to three days per week if we really wanna see measurable change. And it's tough to add in because it doesn't feel hard. Here's three ways to practically do this at home. The first is that you could use a rate of perceived effort scale one that's maybe goes from one to 10, you would be targeting two to three where you feel discomfort, but you're out of breath, but able to speak full sentences at a time. This is kind of that zone two, three. Second, you can use a heart rate strap or a heart rate watch. Now doing this obviously costs a little bit of money because you have to invest in a heart rate strap, but additionally, they're not super accurate for every single person because what it's doing is using a correlation that's common amongst most people. So zone two, if you look at the Polar website, is going to say that it's 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. And I, I've done a max heart rate test recently and mine came out to 191. And that puts my zone two from 114 beats per minute to 134 beats per minute. And if I was going to use my heart rate as a way of uh, trying to stay within zone two, I'm gonna target between 114 and 134. Again, it's not per precise, but it'll give you an idea of where you're at. And then the last one is to use a lactate monitor every three to five minutes during your exercise and test your, your blood lactate. And we wanna be between 1.0 and 1.8 to 1.9, and that can be used probably not as practical as the other two, so consider using those first. So for exercise selection, obvious choices would be treadmill, bike, uh, Jacob's Ladder, Ski Erg, where you can perform a cyclical movement 
without any changes in elevation or difficulty throughout a period of time. That should make it pretty easy to target zone two. But with that said, rucking, hiking, mountain biking, road cycling, all of those elements can give you the opportunity to hit zone two. But realize that when we're doing something like mountain biking, there are gonna be times where your heart rate will naturally spike out of zone two range, which just simply means that you'll need to spend more time doing the mountain biking so that you have more time in zone two to develop that capacity. To bring this back full circle to my lack of capacity at that adventure race, it was very disheartening. I thought I was training right uh, to maintain a high level of fitness, and in some aspects I was, but I had a very huge gap in my fitness that played out uh, in a very disappointing way for me and I wanted to see improvement. So by adding two to three days per week of zone two specific training uh, for a period of time, I got much better at this. Uh, I did this in the gym, I did this out of the gym, but generally I hit it about two to three days per week. Fast forward from 2015 to 2022, that's seven years of time of training two to three days a week of zone two. I've gotten incredibly more proficient in that zone to work, which is giving me more endurance, more ability to resist fatigue. And I went out and tested it last year with a friend on something called the picnic, the Jackson Hole picnic. And it, it involves some biking, some running, some swimming in the mountains. And uh, it's about 70 miles in total. It took us 19 hours. And it was in, an incredible feeling to go from this really disappointing effort in 2015 where I saw this terrible performance play out to something that I'm very proud of and so happy that I was able to participate in and really excel in um, on my own with a, with a buddy with no issues whatsoever. And it was all because of the additional zone two work that I added to my workload. That's why we're adding zone two work to the menu for this cycle. I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want more information about it, make sure that you like and subscribe below. You'll, we'll continue to work on this stuff, but also follow us on Instagram uh, at train underscore FTW. Uh, and if you wanna sign up for the program, go to FTW or trainftw.com and we'll see you on the feed. Friends don't let friends live with aerobic deficiency syndrome.